Hi everyone, today I'd like to speak to you about my upcoming tour, The Way of the Leopard in the United States. I'm going to be going to Detroit, Boulder and Santa Fe. And I'm very excited about this upcoming tour. And one of the core themes of this tour is going to be helping to rewild people. And what does it mean to rewild people? It means to help people connect with their soul, their inner essence, that wild, untamed part of them that connects them to nature, to the natural world. And why is that important nowadays? It's important because nature is suffering. Nature is suffering in such a massive way. And animals are dying and going extinct almost by the hour. And it's very, very serious. So what can we do to stop this? What can we do to stop the massive extermination of species? What can we do to expand the wilderness outside? Well, ancient yogis and shamans speak about focusing on our inner landscape, focusing on the world inside of us in order for the expansion of the outer world to happen. So what is, how does this all happen? How can we do this? Well, as you start to work more on your dreams and as you work with your ancestors and work with plant medicine and actually also work with mindfulness, where you inhabit your inner world and your inner landscape and you connect with your soul inside. As you do that, then there's an expansion of the inner world for you. And as you expand the inner world, so there's an expansion out, outside in the outer world. So with the sickness that we're seeing all around us in the natural world, it's a call for all of us to tune inwards, to connect with our souls, to connect with our inner essence. And as we do that, as we just simply work with our dreams, then we are helping the world around us. How are we doing that? Well, what I find is as I'm working with my dreams and as I'm working with my meditation and I'm doing my prayers to my ancestors, then there's less of a desire inside of me to consume, to want things. So as we do this, as we connect with our inner world, then there's going to be hope for, for nature because nowadays human beings are consuming too much. And one of the reasons why people are consuming is because they're not connected with their inner essence. They're not connected to their soul, to their spirit. So I'm going to be bringing some old techniques to the United States, old Sangwama techniques to help people work with their dreams, to help people work with their ancestors, and to help people to connect to the natural world. And I'm gonna do it in a joyful way. And the joyful way is gonna be through singing and through dancing, through opening our hearts, through standing together in a circle and holding each other's hands and praying together and then listening to one another, listening to our dreams. What dreams did each of us have over the night that we did a plant medicine ceremony? What were the dreams saying? How can we feed one another with the raw essence of our humanity? As we feed one another, then there's less of a desire and need to want to consume and put pressure on our scarce natural resources. So I welcome all of you to come and join me. Join me in Detroit, in Boulder and Santa Fe. And then maybe some of you are also going to join me in Maui when I finish up in Hawaii. So um, I look forward to seeing you. Thank you.